Hello, I'm Mark Beavis. Thank you for logging on to Hockey TV. It's day five here in München. Glad back out on the pitch. We have Germany and Russia ready to go head to head. Germany have already won two, and the Russians have lost two. Let's get to the action. So Germany have won both their games 3-1. They've beaten Spain and Belgium. Russia, meanwhile, have been leaking goals. They lost 5-0 to Russia and they lost 7-1 to Belgium. Germans attacking strong bit and always direct and that's a great chance. Well it's gonna say some good goalkeeping, we've got a penalty corner here for the Germans. Good flick. Excellent flick. Flies past Marit Gafarov in the uh, Russian goal. Playing today, he hasn't played in the previous two and Rem Rogov's been in goal for those two and he's got a pass from a fire after two minutes. Jan Marco Montag has fired one past him and it's 1-0 to the Germans. It's actually the penalty corner to the Germans. Fired in, make that 2-0. Same man, same result, Jan Marco Montag. 2-0 to the Germans. This time though he does go to the uh, to the right of Garfarov. Garfarov just wasn't up to it. His balance was all wrong there and it's Germany 2, Russia 0. The Russians have got an attack on here. It's one versus the three German defenders. And he's got the better of them, so the Russians are going to have a chance to have a go here, but that's a great save. By Tim Jesselat. Taking over from Max Feinholz, who normally keeps for the Germans. Well, that looks nasty, that looks very nasty, it's going to be a penalty corner. Great that chance scoring. There we go, it's 3-0, Moritz first. Fires the ball in, hard and low. And uh, Marek Garfarov will probably wish he was back in the stands where he has been for the last two games. That one's gone between his legs, we can see from this angle here. He opens his legs to let the ball through. Germany 3, Russia 0. And as we come to the end of this first half, Komarov reaching in vain for the ball there and uh, the teams will turn around. It's Germany 3, Russia 0. Germans don't really have to do very much now and to be quite honest I don't think the Russians will be able to do very much to make the Germans work hard. The Germans are going to have complete control of this game they could probably knock this ball around for the next 35 minutes and the Russians wouldn't even touch it. Oh they've given it away. Oh great skills, great skills! And the easiest goals from Strakowski there. It's his name that will go down on the result sheet. He just drifted, just drifted bottom right hand corner there, sets himself up and then just rolls it over. Those are the goals you want to score. But much credit must go to Florian Fuchs. It was his skill that actually has managed to weave through three, four Russians and set up Strakowski. And there's another fantastic goal. And this time Christopher Wesley gets on the score sheet. It's Germany 5, Russia 0. 
yet more fantastic skill. And Leslie just waited for um, goalkeeper Marek Garfarov to move out of the way. Left him on an almost empty goal. Well, Garfarov was on the floor there, could do nothing. Completely out of position there, completely off balance. And the Russians look in disarray. Ball's bobbling free and that's Florian Fuchs. He's got his own goal this time. He set up Svetelskis earlier on and now he's on the, t he's on the score sheet himself. Oh my gosh, Shiskov looks on there in vain. He can do nothing now. He was up and animated before but he's watched his Russian side ship in six goals here to this very, very strong German side. But the Germans now picking goals at will. Germany 6, Russia 0. And there's another one. Maurice first helps himself to his second goal of the game. lifts the ball up and actually bangs it into the carpet. So Germany 7, Russia 0. I think we can safely say the Germans have got this one in the bag. The South thought I hit a foot there. Yeah, there it is. So we're going to have a penalty corner to the Germans. Can they make it eight? We've already had eight goals from the Netherlands against France in the men's competition. And the Netherlands beat Azerbaijan in the women's competition on the opening day. Can the Germans match that? Muller will stop this. Oh, great save. Two great saves. So Garfarov shows that he can actually keep the ball out of the net, not once, but twice. As Drakowski came in there for the rebound shot. There's Montag. Lays it to Muller. Muller drives forward. Another chance and the ball's gone wide. Montag snapping at that. Montag in search of a third goal to get his hat-trick. Can he do it? Can the Germans get eight? Or are they going to have to just settle for uh, just seven goals? Venus but laying the ball off there. Not long left now. But we're going we're gonna to have a penalty corner and I think this will be the last action of the game. Can they get the eighth? No. Garfroff has saved again the ball. Well, there goes the uh, Hooter. It's all over here. It's Germany 7, Russia 0. So the Germans beat the Russians 7 0. Let's get the thoughts of the German captain, Max Muller. So, Max, uh, a fantastic win there for you guys. Yeah, it was. Um, the, the Russians weren't uh, that good and the other uh, teams in our group, but today it was very important to, to score the first goals in the early, game, yeah, early time of the match. And uh, yeah, everything was fun. And so now you're into the semi-finals and you're playing England in the semi-finals. Looking forward to that game? Of course. England is a quite strong team uh, with good individual players. And we're looking forward to play them and uh, hopefully to win. Max Muller speaking to me just a few moments ago. So the Germans will play the English in the semi-final. Where can you see it? On Hockey TV, of course. So make sure you log in. From all of Syria and Munchen, glad back for the time being, though. It's goodbye. <laughs>